Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ray Fitty, and I'm coming back with another video. You dig? About to drop that heat one more time. You know what I'm talking about? One time for the one time. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't know who I am, you've never seen any of my videos, welcome. But if you do know who I am, and you are subscribed to me already, welcome. Again, my name is Ray Fitty. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because right now I'm on the road to 1,000 subs and I'm pushing it. Right now I'm at 800 and I'm getting close. So support your boy on this wonderful journey that I'm on. But let's dive right into it. Today I want to talk about rejection. Yes, rejection. See, a lot of us cannot face rejection. We cannot accept rejection. We cannot accept the fact that we are getting rejected by someone. We cannot accept the fact that we are not it at that particular moment. And it's okay to get rejected. We all take L's. I take L's. I take my L's to the chin. Everybody take L's, bro. Before you start taking dubs, you have to take your L's. But whenever you get rejected, my nigga, use that as fuel. Whenever a bizzle rejects you, bro, use that shit as fuel. Because basically, whenever she rejecting you, she basically telling you, Nah, you're not it for me. I really don't think you're really it for me. She thinks that she's better than you, bro. She thinks that you're beneath her. Because if she didn't think that, if she didn't think otherwise, she wouldn't have rejected you to begin with. She would have gave you her number. She would have been trying to link up with you. She would have been trying to go out with you. She would have been trying to spend time with you type shit. You dig what I'm saying? So, women, they like to date up. They don't like to date down. If they feel like they stooping down a level by fucking with you, they're going to decline your offer. They're not even going to try to fuck with you. They're going to reject you. But it's okay. Use that as fuel to your fire. You understand me? Don't let that shit bring you down. Don't let that shit fuck with your mental, bro. Because nine times out of ten, you probably, you probably, you probably took a dub in the long run. You probably missed out on the bullshit ass bitch anyway that's going to waste your time. You did. So don't be too hard on yourself. Don't take that shit to heart. Anything that these bitches do, especially rejection, do not take that shit to the heart. Do not take shit personal. Because the moment you take shit personal is when it becomes personal. And when it becomes personal, that shit going to fuck with you on the inside. And that shit going to gonna fuck with your mental. So it's many reasons as to why abuse might reject you, bro. And... To be honest, shit, you should try to figure out as to why a bizzle is rejecting you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to ask her, but just take a look in the mirror, my nigga. You know, sometimes bitches might reject you because she might feel like your bag not big enough or your car not nice enough or your house not big enough or it's not nice enough or you might not have a house or you might not have shit. I mean, at the end of the day, you have to have something, bro. You have to have something going for yourself. A bizzle is not going to want to fuck with a nigga that has nothing going for itself. And she can peep that about you, bro. Soon as you approach her. Soon as you open your mouth. Just before you even open your mouth. Just by the way you look. I mean, if you look like you ain't got no motion going on, it's going to show. If you look like you got something going on, it's going to show. You know what I'm talking about? And then whenever you open your mouth and get to speaking, you know what I'm talking about? She'll be able to, to, to figure out if you're really about something or not. It's not going to take that long for her to figure out. If she really want to fuck with you or not. One thing about these bitches is that within the first minute, or shit ain't even got to be the first minute, the first five seconds of them, or them even just looking at you, they already going to figure out if they want to fuck with you or not. If they going to want to fuck you or not. You know what I'm talking about? You just have to be that nigga to her. You know what I'm talking about? But, I mean, if she rejects you, hey, keep going. You know what I'm talking about? Look past that shit. Nigga, just because she rejects you, Rejected you don't mean the next bitch gonna reject you. You she might have just rejected you, but you might find a bitch that's better than her. Like this shit done happened to me plenty of times. Like I done got rejected by a bitch that I really didn't even want. Like I probably my people from a distance. I go shoot at her. When I get her close to her, in my mind, I'm like, damn, nah, she really not really what it is. Like how I thought. You know what I'm talking about from a distance. But since I'm already here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just work on my game, work on my skills. You know what I'm talking about. Practice, that's another thing, y'all. got to get y'all practice in. You know what I'm talking about? Get y'all practice in these bitches or practice. You know what I'm talking about? And sometimes I end up getting rejected by a bitch I really don't want. Do I care? No, I don't give a fuck. Because I know I get bad bitches. I know I can get bitches any time of the day. 
even though I got rejected by a bitch that I really didn't even want like that, I still, I still, at the end of the day, picked up a better bitch that was way better than her. Like, it don't, it don't matter, like, if you get rejected by a bitch or not, bro, because you could always find somebody that's better, bro. So, I mean, just figure out where you lacking it. Is it your looks? Try to enhance your features. Try to try to try to work on your skincare. You know what I'm talking about? Is it your hair? You know what I'm talking about? Try to keep up with your hair. If you got long hair, if you got dreads, get your shit done. Get your shit twisted up. You know what I'm talking about? Don't be looking scruffy. Get your hair cut. You understand me? Work on your swag. You know what I'm talking about? Get your charisma on point. Get your confidence up. You know what I'm talking about? Get your mouthpiece up if you lacking on your mouthpiece. You understand me? Or, you know what I'm talking about? If she like... If you feel like your body ain't, ain't 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 fit enough, get in the gym, get yourself together. You know what I'm talking about? Like, figure out where you lacking it and improve. You know what I'm talking about? It's really not that hard. If you feel like you shooting for bitches that's out of your league, which you should, you should always shoot at bitches that's out of your league just for the simple fact that for one, <laughs> that's an ego boost. Two, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna show a bad bitch confidence that. Even though I know you out of my league, I'm still going to shoot my shot at you. I'm not scared to talk to you. I don't give a fuck how bad you is. I don't give a fuck if your ass fat. I don't give a fuck about what you got. I'm still going to talk to you. And then, if you start fucking with bitches that's out of your league, now you surrounding yourself around bitches that are out of your league. And that's just going to make you go up another level and another notch. You know what I'm talking about? But, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like your bag ain't big enough, hustle a little bit harder. You know what I'm talking about? Grind until you get the things that you want. Just figure out wherever you lacking in, my nigga, and just improve, bro. Self-improve, bro. But my advice to you when it comes to this rejection shit is face it, my nigga. Just face it. Just accept the reject, bro. Accept the L. Like, it's not the end of the world if you get rejected, bro. I promise it's not. Just take just take the pill and swallow it, bro. The truth is hard to swallow. Swallow that shit. And move on and forget about it. Delete it out your mind. And just move on and act like it didn't happen. You know what I'm talking about? That right there, will, 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 it will grow your confidence, bro. Whenever you learn how to just forget shit, that might sting just a little bit. And you able to keep going and keep pushing and act like nothing happened. That's going, that's going, that's going to boost your confidence. That's going to train your mind and your mental Game to be way stronger than what it once was. Just because somebody tells you no or somebody rejects you does not mean that you should give up or you should quit right there because throughout your whole life, I don't give a fuck what it is, bro. You're going to get rejected. People are going to tell you no regardless of what it is, but that don't mean stop. Keep going. You know what I'm talking about? If that door closes, go, go, go find another door that's open. If that bitch rejects you, fuck that bitch, nigga. She missing out on you, nigga. The fuck? I'll find you another bitch that look way better than her. Top that. You know what I'm talking about? I'm on that type of shit right there, bro. You need to keep a rotation. Because let's say you are fucking with a bizzle. And let's say like, shit, one day, one weekend, she flake on you. Or you try to hit her up and try to link up with her. And she be like, nah, not tonight. Okay, take that L. But guess what? You got another bitch on the back end. You can go beat that bitch down. You know what I'm talking about? You can go slay that hoe. You know what I'm talking about? Just because one door closes, don't mean the other one is closed. Go open that door that's open back there for you. You know what I'm talking about? Like, have options, bro. Have many options. Don't just stick to one bitch, bro. Because when one is acting up, you can go fuck with the other bitch. So look, it's always going to be a chance of you getting rejected. But don't let that shit scare you from bagging these hoes and slaying these hoes. You know what I'm talking about? Just go in with the mindset of having no expectations. Because if you have no expectation and you get rejected, it's not going to bother you. If you don't get rejected, then that's cool too. Don't go up to a bitch with that mindset thinking that I'm going to get rejected. No, have a mindset that I'm going to slay this hoe. Rejection also shows you where you at in life. So if you buckle down right now, and you work on your skin, you work on your swag, you work on your charisma, you work on your body, you buckle down and you hustle way harder and you get more money, and you check back in a year from now from when you at today, 
Rejection is going to show you where you really at. So see if you're going to be getting rejected in a year from now, whenever you improve. Check back right now from today. Check back in a year from now. See how far you done came. And see if you're getting rejected as much. Like I said, bro, like, if you get rejected, man, just use that shit as fuel to your fire. Don't that shit make you turn up? Don't that shit make you want to turn up? Don't that shit make you feel like, okay, yeah, I'm finna show this bitch. Okay, I'm finna show these niggas, like, what's happening with me? Like, they sleep on me. They really don't know. That shit should make you want to turn up when somebody rejects you. That shit should make you mad on the inside. Not make you mad to where you just all in your feelings, but make you mad to the point to where you really just want to grind. You want to go hard. Just so you can really just level up and improve and show people what they're really missing out on because they really don't know what the fuck they missing out on. You did. Shit. And if them bitches do try to come back and fuck with you after they done rejected you, you got two options. You could either reject them bitches back or you can take them hoes and slay them hoes. Slay them hoes and then shit. Dismiss them hoes. You know what I'm talking about? Toss them hoes to the side. Dog them hoes out. Just for the simple fact that, bitch, you rejected me first. Because, bitch, you really didn't want to fuck with me until you saw where I was at right now. You didn't want to fuck with me until you saw what I had. You didn't want to fuck with me until you saw me level up. You didn't see You didn't see what I saw myself back then. You know what I'm talking about? So I already know what you here for. You just here just for the moment. You temporary. So I'm going to treat you like it, man. Dog these hoes. Fuck these bitches, nigga. These hoes is going to do you wrong anyway. These bitches don't give a fuck about you or your feelings, my nigga. So stop trying to make justifications as to why you should treat a bitch right and why you should do, why you shouldn't do a bitch like this and that. Nah, fuck these hoes, nigga. These hoes don't give a fuck about you, nigga. These hoes will flake on you in a quick second and not even motherfucking return your call, not even let you know what's up. That's why I say dog these hoes because... These bitches really ain't shit, so I treat them like they ain't shit. My last point I want to make is don't go up to these bitches with no confidence. Walking up to them, looking all nervous, all jittery, stuttering when you talk, going up to them with no confidence. That's going to get you rejected. Shoot your shot, be confident, have charisma. You know what I'm talking about? Just talk to it like you're a regular person. Shit, and that wraps up this video. Play the game, don't let the game play you. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm gone.